so we finally made it. <laughs> We've been on the bike for probably an hour now. We've just pulled in here to do a early morning boat tour mm -hmm. around all these beautiful Lilies. lotus, Lilies, lotus lily. lilies and lotuses. So <coughs> yeah, we knew that the Google Maps was going to be giving us crap directions. And I even took that into account. I knew there was a saw we had to go down and don't follow Google Map directions. So here we still had a bit of a struggle. But we're here now. And the sun's not fully up behind the rocks behind us, so it should be nice. Some little babies in there. Mum's just giving them a bit of a feed. I'm breaking off bits of something for him to eat. Nice. It's like we're back down in the south of Thailand with these big limestone casts or cliffs. Mm -hmm.
it is very nice. Just had a uh, overpriced and underwhelming breakfast. Now I've got to look for some fuel because this fuel gauge on this bike is wigging out. So I'll fill it up so I know it's good and then we won't have to worry. But yeah, certainly a great little hidden spot down here. It's gorgeous. The island's out here. Beautiful. So just as we cruise along here, beautiful beach on one side and then on the other side, they've got areas like set on the side for farming and they're raising cattle and stuff, it's crazy. So there's gorgeous houses here right on the waterfront. They're obviously pretty new by the look. And then over the road here, you've got old man feeding his cows. Very strange man, but awesome spot all the same yeah, yeah so they've, they've spent a fair bit of money here they've got this like a bike path it looks like um, going along the going along the uh, waterfront there and yeah and then you got guy, you got the garden dude here just burning shit for no reason. Oh my god. If I got out of control, then get blasted. If this was anywhere else in the world, it'd be bloody fully overdeveloped. But not here, it's gorgeous. It's, they're keeping it real. Sand, mate. The oh. slippery sand. Don't worry. Hang on, baby. You'll be off. I did. Oh, okay. Nice. So we've made it right down to the other end of the beach. Mm. There's this little market here. All the fishermen offload all their stuff. Probably a few hours ago now, but oh, yeah. yeah, lots of squid boats. Oh, yeah. We'll try some of those, they look alright. All right. Okay. Jump off mate. Oh. Yeah. And the boat's just waiting for the next trip out. Pretty cool. Nice, it? it is pretty cool. Yeah. Nice spot. This is the cool stuff I like about Thailand when you can just find like middle of nowhere. We didn't plan to come here, we're just driving. Thought we'd take the coast road back instead of going down the highway which we're on this morning at Better about choice, about yeah. quarter to six for the crappiest headlight in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, and we just thought we'd follow the coast back and this is what you find man. Coconut, yeah. Coconut, yeah. Oh. How about? Kinder, how about? Okay, uh, so we get four. Yep. Four, make four, yeah. Hmm. Same hole, same hole. So inside these things. So they're wrapped up, there's a little security on the back there, and inside... There's this awesome coconut mix, so uh... Yeah, like that. A real... These lads living up on their big bikes. Lucky bastards. We've got a poor old bloody... 40,000 K Polo scooter and they're ripping it up on some brand new Ducati. 
back to the rice thing. Coconut, Coconut. delicious delight. <clears throat> and nice, they're really good. Cute little snack. Sweet mm. snack, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Not super sweet though. No, it's good. You don't want it super sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Highly recommended from Wave. Four for 20 bucks. Mm. Good value. Cheap as chips. So we're just at another section of another new beach. Once again, it looks good. little sections along here some older style stuff and then some brand new ones so many empty blocks of waterfront land on the beach I don't believe it well, we're probably 20 minutes out of Park Inn out of the main town and there's all these resorts here and nobody on the beach Some of these places look bloody full freight. Like top dollar to stay at. Mm. Look at the stretch of beach it goes on and on and on. Oh, there's no one on here. It's like the fireys are up here giving the uh, trees a bit of a watering. <laughs> it has been pretty dry here. It's only rained for about half an hour on our whole trip. Yep. So we've been away so far. It's like day 24. Or something. Oh, they're giving the... Uh, yeah, this is like day 24 out of 28. It's rained for about half an hour oh, in 24 that. days. Yeah. And that was a Kanchanaburi on us. Oh. And it was um, it was bloody really nice actually. <laughs> but look at this, this absolutely beautiful. Riding back by the coast, beats the shit out of that horrible highway. For sure. the beach and here's the cow. Like I just don't get it. <laughs> I do not understand how they've spent so much money getting the beach land everywhere. Yep. But yeah it's an awesome area down here really cool. Seen some hip little cafes and some good little boozers. Nice new restaurants like that. Yeah, really good. There's a fair bit of building work going on as well, which uh, is good for the local economy. Coming out of these shitty times that we're in. So, happy days. We'll turn on and see what else we can find. Okay. Hey. Yeah. That's my kind of pool, look at that. A bit too busy at the moment. <laughs> we have to come back later when we wipe down the people. So that is oh, it's a oh, window. Windham. Yeah. Okay, Windham. The pavilion. The pavilion. Come to the end of the road. And a couple of cows. Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. Okay. 
Take it easy, doggos. Boys on the beach don't seem to go together, but there's only other women. Morning, ladies. Yeah.